So first of course we're gonna delete this cat. Then we're gonna make our backdrop, which we'll make it. Uh, let's say grass. This kind of. So yeah, our backdrop looks fine. So now we have the ground. We need to make a player. So now I'll make it. Yeah, so this looks fine um, and also we want to turn this 90 degrees to the right okay we'll make it size let's say 150 yeah and now I'm gonna name this a layer so when flag clicked, we want it to start at the center, 0, 0, when flag click go to 0, 0 and then when space key pressed uh, and instead of space key, we're going to write W. You could put any arrow key over here, any key over here. Like if you want to play with the arrow keys, you could put the up arrow. But I play with WASD, so I prefer W. Uh, when W press, we wanted to move one step, uh, how about two step, and repeat it ten times. So if I just put uh, two steps, then this happens. An abrupt movement is there but if I put repeat 10 times then you can see it feels like he's actually moving yeah so mm, then we'll duplicate this and minus two steps for s okay and also when flag key clicked we wanted to switch costume to costume 1 as we have some things to do with the costume later on and also we wanted to go to forever and point towards mouse pointer so that it points towards the mouse pointer now we need to code our bullet which we will paint then we want its size to be like something around 50 50 is fine Yeah, 25 is fine so after that um, we we'll go and name this bullet as well when flag clicked then we want it to firstly hide and then secondly when and uh, we want it to go to the edge, I think. This place is fine. So, we want it to go to this place and then hide. And when space key pressed, we want it to create a clone of itself and when so we're giving the uh, code for the clone right now when I start as a clone we want it to 
repeat until touching mouse pointer and we'll change this to edge and go to motion move 10 steps and we'll make this five steps and uh, before that what we need to do is go to the player and point in direction we're going to go to sensing take backdrop of stage and i know this doesn't make sense to you right now but when you click on this stage change it to player and then this one first one will automatically change and you can click direction over here and now it will point in the direction of the player and also we want it to show show and when it reaches the edge we wanted to delete this clone or it will be way too laggy also uh, since as you can see over here it's the bullet is coming above our player it looks weird so we'll also say go backward one layer and then yeah so now you can't really see the uh, bullet not that is not coming out of below the player uh, okay so now that we have this ready we want to make a gap of let's say 0.2 seconds because we don't want this to be firing every single time or you could do this yeah so that's controlled now now we need to make our enemy so we'll just go to player take this costume left click and you'll see it'll start to come with you you can drag it on to the other sprite you just created and when this sprite shakes a little leave it and here you'll find it over here i'm gonna zoom and delete the gun since the our enemies zombies don't have guns and i'm gonna fill them with red so that you know the red or actually i could fill them with green since they're zombies you know and this size also we'll set it to 150 yep um yeah so now we'll name it enemy as well and when flag clicked we want it to go to this position and hide and then create a clone of itself then wait about ten seconds before making another clone. We'll make it uh, go to minus one thirty seven one eighty. Okay. So we want its clones, so forever also over here. And when I start as a clone, show and we want them to go to pick random. In the Y position, we'll put pick random 156 to minus minus 166, and then um we wanted to say repeat until. 
and we want to take an or repeat until touching layer or our bullet so when we start we want this to come till here so point towards player and move one step and after it touches the bullet delete this clone instead of 10 seconds i might as well make it 5 seconds for a bit of a challenge So that's it for today's video guys if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and you can always comment which games you want me to make next and stay tuned for part 2 and bye bye till my next video